components and connectivity for the EPTZ and the EKB500, and hopefully this will give you a better understanding. Okay, first we have the component for all the PTZ models, 100, 500, 1000, 3100i, 3100, and the 36. Um, out of each PTZ, they have these four pigtails coming out, okay? The one is your power connection, which is 24 volt power. You have your BNC connection for video. And then you have your two data cables, orange being your negative and yellow being your positive. Okay, this is the components for the EKB500 wiring box. When you purchase the EKB500, it will come with a little s wiring box inside. Okay, they're all centralized inside this wiring box. And this diagram here shows you the data and power connections for the key PTZ and keyboard. Okay, this little wiring box supplies both the data from the PTZs and the power to the keyboard. Okay, this is a chart here. Again, to the right, you'll see that's the little wiring box. Okay, your white is your, your power. That's, um, and the black is your ground, and then you have your orange, which is your negative data control, and your yellow, which is your positive data control. Now, if you choose not to use the wiring box, you can connect directly with a Cat5 twisted pair into the RS-485 ports on the back of the EKB500. You just have to wire them up as it's seen on the left. Pin 1 would be your 12-volt DC. Pin 3 would be your RS-485+. plus. Pin 6 is your RS-45 negative, and pin 7 is your ground. Okay, understanding the connectivity. There are two cables that carry the data signals per component, one positive and one negative. These connect to the components for interpretability. Okay, you'll see on your chart to the right, you'll go down the positive line, the PTZ again, the yellow data cable is your positive which would connect into the EKB, which is the red coming off the wiring box. And then it connects into the EDR, the EDVR, using the white-green pin, which is connecting into pin 3. Then going down on the negative side for the data transformation, you have your PTZ, which is the orange wire. Out of the EKB wiring box is the black wire lead. And then if you're connecting into the EDR, EDVR, and using the CAT5 connection for the RS-485 connection, pin 6, which is your solid green wire, is your negative. Okay, and you'll see to the diagram to the left, it's a quick understanding of how it would go. Out of the EDR, EDVR, you have your positive, okay, which is your green white, and you have your negative, which is your solid green, connecting to the positive out of the EKB, which is your red to the green white, and then your negative out of the EKB, which is your solid black to the green. And then from the PTZ dome, you have your orange, which is your negative, connecting to both the black and the solid green. And then you have the yellow, which is your positive, connecting to the red and the green-white. So you have all your positive leads and all your negative leads run to the same area. Okay, we're going to go over the next couple of slides, connecting an EPTZ to an EDR or an EDVR. Okay, the EDR, DVRs, EDR, EDVR, DVRs offer PTZ controls remotely through the web page. Okay, and the EDR, EDVR series interface with RS-45 connections. Okay, the materials that you will see is an EPTZ dome camera and the EDR, EDVR series. Okay, on the back of the EDR, EDVRs, there's an RS-45 port. Okay, the 45 port utilizes the port for communication for the PTZ interface. Okay, <clears throat> and RJ-45 is used to interface with the port on the back of the DVR. Okay, remember when connecting the PTZ camera, pins 3 and 6 are used to interface with the positive and negative terminals, respectively. And you'll see down here in the small little diagram, of the CAT5 <clears throat> going in, you have your pin 3, which is your green-white, as your positive, and pin 6, which is your solid green, as your negative. Okay, and on the other end of those leads, that would lead up to the dome. Again, 6, or your solid green connecting to the orange, and pin 3, or your green.